Greetings, indie comic fans, creators, whatever you are. Um, it's been a while since I've done a video because re I've had the head down really focusing on um, the process, the inking process. And yeah, I was just kind of really enjoying that and going with it. And sometimes I find when I'm very focused on that, I don't... Um, I just want to finish a body of work before I come back and do um, a video because, you know, I know, this is the only content I make at the moment. And uh, sometimes, yeah, if I do something small, it doesn't feel as impactful enough for me. And I, I like to kind of hit a big, big milestone. But the, in the last video, I was talking about finishing inking on the first or the second scene of my book. And when I was coming to the end of it, I was starting to realize that I just didn't have, I spoke before about the energy, trying to keep that interest and energy when I'm doing a page. And what I found was I was spending up, using a lot of energy in penciling. And then when it came to the inking, even though I had a really nice, you know, very finished pencil page, um, I felt like I was probably doing a bad job of the inking. Like, and um, I don't know, I thought, I, I think I thought to myself, I just want to step aside from the project and try something slightly different inking. <clears throat> so before I look at the something different that I tried, I did finish this um, uh, second scene. So like this is the second last page of the scene. And like I <clears throat> for me, like this is this is pretty good you know i'm 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 pretty pretty happy with these pages um and then this is the last page from it so yeah these are nice but i don't know i just felt like there was something missing from my inks and i decided if you look at my last video i done a review of a book called omega storm and I don't know if any other creators are like this, but like sometimes when you read another story, you start thinking about ideas of that story and, and maybe a specific idea about a specific character in that story. And I had, a, you know, I was flirting with the idea of a character from that Omega Storm. And because I wanted to try something different in my process when it came to the inking, I said, I'm just going to draw one page as a kind of um, process test. And... Um, it kind of snowballed. Oh, let me go back to the first page. It kind of snowballed. So this is, let me turn myself off for a second so I can get the full thing in. So like this was the first page. And like, I think this is superior art, comic page artwork than anything I've done on my Son of Santa um, so far. I think I've drawn, um, I don't know, something like 11, 12 pages so far of that book from the first two scenes but i i ended up drawing four four pages of a no, completely other story that's not paying and it's got nothing to do with anything but it was me trying to explore a slight um difference in the process of, of creating a comic page and i think what what i'm trying to find is something that really keeps me engaged and interested and just you know, it just gives me that kind of fucking hard on for most of the time creating the page. Like, I don't want to hit any lulls or any spots where I'm like struggling through a page. Like, so I'm always trying to seek out how to keep that energy and excitement. And like, what I done in this was I pencil this very lightly with a H pencil. Like, and I didn't think of blacks. All I was thinking of was just the kind of structure really and if like i spent more time on faces and hands and I, I, I probably went into them a little bit darker and you know i took photos and flipped done a lot of flipping and um then i kind of left all of my energy all of my creative energy to the actual inking like and and like trying to create that line thickness that you know energy excitement you know just really beautiful um lines and interesting different types of lines as i was drawing these forms and in the past 
I had tried this technique, but the problem was I didn't really spend any time on the penciling, like, um, and it was much darker penciling. What I found now, which I can now see a lot of other creators are doing, and it makes sense to me, when you draw really lightly and then you start going in with like a super black inks, like it's kind of helping me visualize. I can see better, like it, it, it's like if I have dark pencils on there, I can't really see what the scan is gonna look like at the end, but if I've got a very light line, I can kind of see what the, what the finished product is gonna look like after a scan, like, and like, I fucking had so much fun with these pages, like absolutely. There was rarely a moment where I labored through this. Like I was just loving every minute. And like I started going a bit crazy with um, just drawing in sound effects and stuff. I don't know why, like on this, essentially this story is about this character. He's from the Omega Storm or the Graveyard Shift Universe. He's like a surfer dude. He's actually not on the first page. So this first page is kind of establishes like a kind of a, a surfy area. You know, you can see like a camper van with some surf boards and you see a few people coming down here onto a beach or something. And you see the guy at the front here, he sees something and he looks back. Essentially, he's he's shouting back to this guy and he's saying, quick, get, um, I think Jordy is the, I can't remember now the, the guy's name. His, 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 his superhero name is Kronos. And he's like, get, you know, get Jordy. And then this final shot is like a crashed ship. And like, the, I don't know, I just, with this process, I felt a lot more comfortable doing a bit of hatching and stuff in there. I don't know why, but uh, it was just clearer. I could see stuff clearer. Maybe I'm just getting more practice with it, whatever, I don't know. Like, but essentially, yeah, he says, get Jordy. And then the guy at the back, he runs back up to the camper van. Then you go inside, here's Kronos here, like, and he's, He's chilling out with his his surfer chick, and you know he's having a, a probably a giant smoking a joint, and you know they've got uh, a few drinks there and chips and stuff like that. Like, and uh, then uh, one of his surf dudes is like, you know, quick, you know, you got to get down onto the beach or some shit like that. And they're kind of he's he's almost saying, hey man, like you know, I wanted a bit of time with my with my babe here, like, and then there's a a boom. So like, I think this is what got me going on the um, sound effects, drawing in the sound effects. I was just trying stuff out. Like, you know, this, this, these pages were me just messing about, trying stuff. And um, I thought like, it's hard to get feedback from people. And, you know, I don't really talk. I don't really have the ability to get much feedback from any other artists but or comic creators. But I don't know, like, a, this kind of just felt good at the time, like doing it. And this is this, this kind of creature he, you know, so he turns up, up uh, near the uh, camper van and he's got the other surfers captured. He's got this big gun. This is kind of based off a design from these aliens from the Omega Storm book. Cause I didn't want to be designing that now. I just kind of wanted to reuse stuff that was there. And um, <clears throat> you know, he's got them all captured, tied up with, with this kind of, um, cabling, who doesn't like drawing a bit of cabling? <laughs> and uh, then yeah, he fires this cannon, blows the um, camper van to pieces. Like I've never, I've probably loosely sketched an explosion. I've never actually tried to f ink something finished. And I don't, I was just really happy with this. I put in like a boom back there, explosion, you know, different pieces, shrapnel, flying out a wheel bouncing up past Kronos and his, his surfer chick don't know it's just so much fun with this even drawing all these speed lines because I it's weird because I didn't have them down in pencil or maybe I had a few guidelines just to make sure I was doing it right I had no problem it was like I had a bit of focus I, I had like in the past I just had I'd rush through this and make complete balls of it now I'm not saying it's perfect but it looks pretty good and um then the final page is you've got Kronos here, like after the, the dust settles and there's one of the surfboards. So I, I don't know, I was thinking in all the saying, you know, you just destroyed my favorite surfboard or something like that. Like, and I was trying to put in a, you know, a few broken palm trees and stuff. And then this is his power. Like he, uh, he sort of, I think the story is, it was some kind of 
dark matter experiment. I think his dad was a scientist and he like fell into it or some some shit like that. Like, but it's like this kind of armor appears. It's not. It looks more like a like a construct rather than something like venom. Like, but it all wraps around him. So I wanted to you know just focus in on on the fist and the arm as the armor was coming on and then this alien is gonna like you know for another shot but as he fires like you know Kronos is is charging in and the, the his armor is almost fully complete like the armor is a full um fully encased kind of um thing like you don't actually see his face or there's still a bit of his bicep and stuff there you know because this thing's just wrapping around like but um and I just wanted to show the blast just pinging off off of his armor. So it's a good comparison. Like here, the, the blast just obliterates a camper van, and then here it just bounces off his chest, like you know, with ping. So, um, so that's what I've been doing for the last month. Literally, probably not even a month. And it was uh, f for my speed, like the, I think the quality, I think the quality of these pages is better than anything I've done on the Son of Santa, and. Um, there's just uh there's there's a lot more like finesse finessing in here if that's the right word than there is in my other um pages and i think that's because such light lines and very little lines on the the comic page that when i come to do all this inking stuff and and you know trying different line widths and i don't know i can see it more and i'm happy to play around with it more and i feel like these lighter lines are going to you know show up on on scans and stuff like that like um so yeah now i'm back i'm back on my own book i actually did send these in to um john malin who's one of the kind of creators of um graveyard shift that graveyard shift universe kind of just to get on his radar like um because i'd love to work do something inside that universe at some point to be really good but um but yeah look i've, I've kind of I feel like I've learned a lot from this process. It's kind of got me excited to get onto the next scene of my book. And um, hopefully, because I don't know, I think I can, it's just something slightly lacking from these pages compared to what I just showed you. And um, I'm, I'm excited. Like actually, these are kind of the base scans, so they look a bit kind of faded. Whereas these are, you know, I do I done the le the levels. I changed the levels in Photoshop just to to make it look like you know super black and white. Like, um, but uh, I'm just excited to bring this kind of energy to the next scene of my book. And and the next scene is when our hero, the son of Santa, uh, turns up. It's going to be a pretty epic, um intro to him there's going to be a lot of this stuff a lot of fucking shit blown up and you know it's going to be really exciting like so uh so look i'm going to leave the video at that while i'm on 13 minutes this is a long one people probably won't even get to the end of this like um if you got this far though well done and um look i'll, I'll have I'll, I'll maybe i'll do one or two inked pages like this and put them up to to try and um have a quicker update but yeah look um Thanks for watching and uh, see you on the next video. Have a good one, folks.